Dan Shui, After Rain, 1944, Oil on Canvas. After viewing this picture, your feelings would likely have nothing to do with the name of it, because the painter intended to convey a deep, painful feeling of people sending off their relatives and friends who had been recruited by the Japanese government to fight in Southeast Asia or mainland China. In 1944, both the Japanese Navy and Air Force were continuously being defeated by the U.S. forces. The Army in the Southeast also struggled to survive as the strength of the U.S. Army was unmatchable and numerous Japanese soldiers were killed there. In order to fulfill the great demand for soldiers, the Japanese government conscripted a great number of senior high school students to fight on the battlefield. For some other underage youth, the government did their best to start a patriotism campaign to get the youth to voluntarily join the army and gave them great honors as their reward. In a farewell parade, some people held the Japanese national flag, while others carried children on their backs, and yet others hugged and said their goodbyes to one another. However, the overlying feeling was that of deep sorrow. Although this painting is small in size, it presents much more than one might think possible. The picture was depicted with great care and detail, especially in the painting of the shops along the road. The meaning Mr. Chen intended to convey in this sentimental scene is much more significant than the portrayal of the scenery. Moreover, the composition of the picture as a whole, based on the arc-shaped sloping road, provides an even deeper sense of sorrow. Among Chen Chen Po's numerous landscapes, his Dan Shui scenes number the second most behind that of his hometown of Jiayi City. In total, there are 11 pieces centered on Dan Shui. The paintings of Dan Shui always sold for large sums abroad. Dan Shui was one of the places in Taiwan that had been more developed in early times. Dan Shui, with its beautiful terrain and location at the mouth of Dan Shui River, and below Temple Hill, was one of the most favored places for painting, in part because of the many Western-style structures which remained after the rules of Spain, Holland, and England 